from Sirius XM's Doctor Radio. This is Coronavirus. Everything you need to know now. Our new acquaintance, coronavirus, and again, I'm now talking about traditional coronavirus, not novel coronavirus, which probably can do it too. But we are very well aware of the fact that traditional old coronavirus can actually cause exacerbation of asthma. Now, again, if you ask me, what would be the best uh, way to avoid it for children with asthma to stay asthma-free even during attacks of viruses? Well, first of all, prevention, and again, it's going to be hand washing and uh, sanitizing, and uh, number two, very good, balanced asthma treatment protocol, adherence to the medication, and making sure that you treat asthma of your child together with your asthma provider. The things to know, I guess, is this novel coronavirus certainly has affinity towards lower airway, which means this virus is very capable of causing bronchitis and pneumonia and certain respiratory insufficiency related to it. It's not clear what is exact percent of people who sustain those bad symptoms compared with people who just get fever and runny noses, but it seems like it's rather substantial. Saying that, I would like to also point to the fact that we know about coronavirus, not novel coronavirus, but regular coronavirus, and we know about it for many years. We, a pediatrician, pediatric pulmonologist, have been treating children with bronchitis and pneumonia related to coronavirus for many years, and we are very aware that this virus can cause significant problems. So it's not new uh, for us. What is new is certainly the amount of people who got sick and how quickly it's being spread. As far as pediatrics data evolves, it's not as much, but there are several publications already which are available and available for clinical and scientific community. Publications related to what happens to children who has gotten coronavirus, novel coronavirus in China. There are a couple of interesting and I would say rather reassuring facts for the parents. Number one, it seems like novel coronavirus is not as hard on kids as in adults, at least judged by the published data, and they didn't have as many cases, but they had probably several dozen cases which they were able to analyze. Well, first of all, there were no deaths, which is by itself great, um, at least among the children which were published, cases which were published. And second, the cases were on the moderate and rather mild severity. They were not as sick. So there is a opinion, and it's actually scientific opinion, it seems like at this point at least that children, they develop milder disease uh, than adults, which certainly is a, a very big deal for the pediatricians. I also want to point to the fact, and I've been asked this question already several times, just want to kind of elaborate on that, that there are also reports, and they're all just, you know, the reports, meaning it's not epidemiological studies, it's not anything scientifically proven for the large number of patients, but there are definitely reports of successful treatment of very severe novel coronavirus-related pneumonia with uh, certain antiviral agents. And one of them we know actually very well, it's called ritonavir, and ritonavir have been used as um, antiretroviral medication for treatment of HIV. And it seems like it could be effective against this novel coronavirus, at least. Again, I'm aware of several publications which describe successful treatment. The last thing which I would like to comment on is that we know very well that virus easily spreads from human to human. However, however, the measures, relatively simple measures, which we are very aware of when we fight virus outbreaks and specifically the personal hygiene, the, the hands washing, avoiding sharing the objects, dramatically decreases the transmission. So again, this winter, as any other winter, I strongly encourage people to be very, very aware of clean hands, using excellent Perel products, alcohol-based creams and so on and so on, foams and so on and so forth, and making sure that your hands and uh, hands of your children are very clean indeed, and there is no such a thing as over-cleaning hands, so after each encounter in the public, in the transport, at school, before meal, please make sure that you clean hands. Now, again, if you ask me what would be the best way to avoid it for children with asthma to stay asthma-free even during attacks of viruses, well, first of all, prevention, and again, it's going to be hand washing and sanitizing, and number two, very good, balanced asthma treatment protocol, adherence to the medication, and making sure that you treat asthma of your child together 
with your asthma provider. Around the clock updates from the world's leading experts are now on Doctor Radio, Sirius XM 110. To learn more and to subscribe, go to SiriusXM.com.